What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 50 of our NC State Return to Primetime Dynasty. Uh, we are jumping into good old recruiting a little bit later. I'd already done two calls before I got into this. but uh, So uh, we just came off that good old win against UNC. Uh, what a great, uh, great, great, great game as we killed our in-state rivals. And we're about to head into another rival game as we head to Durham to take on the Duke Blue Devils. That's right. We have a little bit of a cross uh, series matchup here pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are doing good today. I know I am. Um, kind of gotten some recording done my first weekend uh, of my uh, second semester of college. So I'm kind of like, you know, uh, just kind of chilling. And got some of my homework done this morning about 7.30 and then I uh, decided to go ahead and record and get some stuff done. Um, I got the Duke game filmed, and then I got to get the Week 14 recruiting, and then we see who we will face in the ACC championship game. Uh, so uh, and, uh, I will go through like the bowl project projections and stuff like that before we go against whoever we go against. I'm pretty sure at this point we'll probably face um, we'll probably face Virginia Tech if. The rest of our games go well, which we only have one game remaining in the regular season. That's against Duke. So if that game goes well, then we'll probably face Virginia Tech uh, in the ACC championship game again. So I know, um, I believe I, I may look at it at this point, but before the Duke game, um, I don't know about what has happened after the Duke game. Um, but before the Duke game, we have been uh, scheduled to possibly go into the Sugar Bowl again. And we'd be facing, I believe... Um, Texas, I think it was one of the two. I forgot, um, but uh, it's either Texas or San Diego State. I think it may be San Diego State. So uh, we'll see who we have to face in our bowl because I know we're bowl eligible. So it just depends on if we get into like the bigger bowls or if we you know get into like the Meineke Car Bowl or something like that. So uh, hopefully our Duke game will go good. Um, I think it will, but I don't know. Again. Um, I've already filmed it, so I'm not going to say anything. So, uh, I've put out quite a bit of Call of Duty gameplay recently, so I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, sorry if people are looking for the Minecraft videos. Uh, I haven't really recorded that a lot. Like, the day that we scheduled to kind of record, nobody got back to me that day. And uh, Mark didn't even get on that day. So, um, there's some problems with that. And then we were going to record yesterday, yesterday being the 17th. And uh, Mark's mic is messed up, so we kind of put that on the back burner again as well. So, you know, there's some stuff going on. Plus, uh, we've been, you know, playing a lot more Call of Duty and kind of getting in the groove for uh, GTA coming out and uh, Splinter Cell Tuesday coming out. So there's some stuff that's going on that, you know, we have to kind of do ourselves, and then we should be able to get some Minecraft film here pretty soon. I wanted I want to get this series done. Because uh, after our bowl game, um, I'll probably do one more video, and then uh, it will be done in the way of NC State. I'm thinking with the Duke, um, I'm thinking I'm just going to um, play them, play the rest of the games off screen, and then do it, and then like to show you guys who, what happened, who won, and everything like that. Um, just because... I really um, wanting to go on to the uh, the return to prime time on uh, NCAA 14. Like I'm really ready to go for it, and I'll release the results of the poll that um, happened. I had the poll open for about two weeks, and it's been closed for about a week and a half. Um, so um, uh, hopefully, um, I will be able to get those uh, those done here pretty soon. And then, of course, the Madden videos, I think I stated way back like in March, or uh, sorry, way back in June or July, whenever I first started back up these. Uh, Madden's done. Eagles franchise is not going anywhere, uh, probably. Um, I'll probably play the rest of those games, too, and s tell you guys what happens. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of a bad idea for me to have, like, you know, have three or four different series going on at the same time. Uh, it's kind of tough for me to do it, especially with my schedule, so... I think it's probably better for me just to focus on one and then just keep it like that. Um, especially with GTA coming out, uh, there'll be a lot more GTA videos and there'll be a lot of Call of Duty videos and battle. Probably not that many Battlefield videos, but you never know. 
Um, maybe a couple Splinter Cell videos, depending on who gets it. If Mark gets it, then yeah, there'll probably be some Splinter Cell videos, just because we like doing the co-op missions uh, and stuff like that, like we did uh, in Conviction. We didn't put those videos up. I never actually filmed it, but we did a lot of like the Hunter Mode stuff and things like that. So hopefully we will be able to um, completely um, get some stuff done with that game. But definitely GTA 5. The gameplay trailer came out for online. And uh, I'm excited to see that we can actually do like heists and stuff like that and actually count towards something um, and it actually be real. You know, like in GTA 4, you basically have to pretend like you're ro robbing a burger shot, but now you can actually rob something like a liquor store. But as we finish up recruiting, we're going to go ahead and look at the injury report because uh, Griffin got hurt in the last game against UNC, but uh, he was only out for the game, but he's not going to be out for our game against Duke. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look and see what's going on. We outranked them in every other category except for passing offense. They're 76, we're 96. But our defense is uh, number one in the nation. Theirs is 93rd. Their rushing defense is 114. We're only we're one. So uh, we also have zero turnover differential, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think our defense has kind of helped us out on that, especially with all the interceptions that, uh, that um, Buck Mangum has thrown. Yeah, but he, I think he has like 11 or 19 interceptions. I think it's only 11. We'll see here in a second. Um but Herb Street has us being picked over the 1-6 in conference ACC uh, team, Duke Blue Devils. They are 4-7 and seven overall. We are 10-1 overall with 7-0 and oh in the conference of the ACC. Uh, so um, Duke has lost one. They have uh, their cornerbacks out, and their right guard, Muhammad, is out as well for eight weeks. Uh, so we're one of their biggest rivals, so they're one of our biggest rivals. We have no injuries. We are, have won 10 in a row. As you can see, they, have, they beat Kansas. They beat... Um, it may have been Kentucky, whichever one. And then you can see ours. We lost an overtime first game of the season against Tennessee, and after that, all the teams that we have played have basically gone on to do nothing after we beat them. So Sean Taylor for them has 11 interceptions and 17 touchdowns, only five touchdowns rushing for their running back. He has 19 Buck Mangum, 22 TDs, almost 2,000 yards passing. So it's a pretty big deal. As um, their sack leader only has four, and Quentin Preston has 11. So uh, hopefully he can improve on that number in the next game. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, I look forward to uh, bringing you guys the Duke game as NC State heads into Durham, North Carolina, to take on their rival, the Blue Devils. See you guys next time. Peace.